We are the first land grant institution in the country. And for us to continue an agricultural heritage has always been important to our administration at the university as well as in our athletic department. Every day is different. Mother Nature gives you a different scenario every day of the year. Weather-wise, we had a really horrible summer last year, and then the fall was very, very wet, which made for some really challenging conditions in Spartan Stadium. So we began the discussion. If we were to put in an NFL-quality field with all the bells and whistles, what would that look like? The field had originally been installed for the season of 2002. There were a number of things that needed to be either replaced or repaired. We just rolled it all up and, and redid the entire field level. We've had a long-standing relationship with Sports Fields Incorporated. The owner of that company, Brian Storm, is an alumni of Michigan State and has been involved in many field projects here. With his experience in the NFL, MLB, MLS, it made perfect sense for us to reach out to him and talk to him about what was best and what was needed for the future needs of Spartan Stadium. And the spring game concluding practice here uh, at Michigan State. So long, everybody, and go green, go white. The Monday following the spring game, we began a renovation of the field level which meant that we removed all the materials at field level, the track surface that surrounded the field, as well as the field itself. And we built the field literally from 15 inches beneath the field up. We don't have the time to just, you know, cancel a season at Spartan Stadium and, and let it grow in. So we have to bring in sod. And when you have to bring in sod, you try to find the best soil match and the best turf grass types available. From the day that the grass went in until our first scrimmage, you know, we are very detail oriented in maintaining the grass every day, making sure that no matter what Mother Nature throws at us, that we're doing the best that we can in those situations. You know, hot, wet, and humid are very difficult conditions to establish a high quality athletic surface. We set the stage for greatness for our student athletes and you know, providing them with an opportunity to achieve their dreams has always been a really important thing to us. the new turf, I don't know, it's just nice, you know, it's just so good, you know, and the lady, she takes real good care of it, like, like that is her baby, for that grass, and she loves that grass. Uh -huh. I love kicking on this, this field. It's my favorite time of the year. A lot of people take the time and effort to make sure we have the nicest playing surface, and I can't wait to see what the new grass is going to be like, I feel like it's going to be super nice, and it's going to be perfect, perfect conditions every time, it always is, I just can't wait to play on it. Well, we're mowing it every day right now, making sure that we're not overwatering it. When you're having heat like this, you want to provide the surface with the exact correct amount of water and not overwater it. Otherwise, it's like sleeping in a wet bed. It's really walking a fine line every day, just keeping a detail to it, putting fertilizer and other plant protectants on it that might be needed or necessary. So it's really a, like babysitting. It's a lot of babysitting every day. When we get towards the season, we'll be painting it and, and doing some other things with it, but um, getting it to a more playable state. But right now it's just about growing grass and maintaining healthy turf grass.